It is a very, very extremely windy day out here. What's up guys, it's your boy Complicated Art Man here coming at you from beautiful Central Florida, Orlando, the city beautiful. All right, got a lot of things going on here right now. I'm about to get into some sort of flowy action painting. It's gonna be like a red, white, and blue theme deal. And um, got my most of my paint colors all mixed up. I wanna use two different values of blue. Not exactly sure why, but something's telling me that I want two different blues. Cobalt, cobalt blue. I've got a little phthalo blue mixed in there and just a little touch of black. Just get it a little darker and just looking for a really flowy consistency here. Fluid is, I guess, the word I'm looking for. Really loose, but not too. That's probably about it. This is the key to the whole project right here. It's gonna be this, this thing right here. I'm gonna drop some paint on it. It's gonna splatter all over the canvas. You're gonna see where that all leads to. Got my paints, my sticks, brushes, my flow, a little bit of silicone, a bam, and let's see where this takes us. All right, guys, here's a quick frescoes tips. Always, always keep the paint sticks pointing away from you. Paint sticks pointing away from you. This can be a total disaster when working with these loose, fluid, flowy paints. Got it? Good. All right, guys, this is pretty basic stuff. I'm gonna do a red, white, and a blue. Um, I'm gonna prime the canvas first with a little bit of white kind of all over, doing some crisscrossy strokes here, back and forth, Bob Ross style. Then we're gonna put this horizontal on the table and we're gonna drop all the flowy paints on it. basically just washing this on there. so it's not really a big deal. Yeah, this is basic technique, anybody can do this. It's acrylic paint, I've got it mixed with water, very loose, these are whisper strokes, very light. All right, so we're gonna leave this for now. I'm gonna do some loose, very loose star work on here with like a broken stroke kind of method. And then we're gonna get to the uh, dropping all the flow paints down uh, once I lay it on the table. And guys, this is the key to this whole painting right here. Um, I put this together here with some household things and it's gonna spin like that. We are going to drop all the fluid paints on here and they're just gonna splatter. The centripetal force is gonna just let the paint land where it's going to. It's gonna be really cool, really organic. 
It's going to be awesome. All right, guys. So there it is. Step one of my project is done right now. I'm calling it the red, white, and blue project. I know uh, this was simple. Did it with household brushes. Look at this. It's a little wet, so I got to be careful because you know me. I do some silly stuff sometimes. Look how old this brush is. This is just old, but it served its purpose today. Save those old brushes. They're awesome, actually, for drip action paintings, too. I just did simple strokes, vertical, back and forth. Little slight ombre thing going on, but again, simple jack stuff here. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna let it dry. Step one is done for today. Gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna do the broken stroke, really loose painting, uh, stars all over this thing. And then we're gonna get the spinny apparatus and we're gonna drop the flowy loose paints all over it and let the centrifuge do its thing. Complicated Art Man, for now, out. Welcome back to the Complicated Art Man channel. I am the Complicated Art Man. All right, guys, so yesterday was stage one. It was just setting up the substrate. Today, stage two. So today's gonna be really loose, abstract stars just going across the painting, up and down and across. I've got my paints all ready to go here. They're really loose and flowy watered down acrylics. So all I did, nothing really special. Again, so far this project is kind of simple jack stuff. <laughs> Without further ado, we're gonna get started. Oh, oh, tomorrow is gonna be day trace. Tomorrow is gonna be the day that we drop the flowy acrylic paints on here, right on there from an elevated position. This is gonna be uh, horizontal on a table, but we're gonna drop it straight down onto the flat canvas and the centrifuge is gonna create a nice circular pattern. Circular, circular pattern on the canvas. Very organic. I guess you can say it's kind of an action. It'll be kind of an action-ish painting, but that's gonna be tomorrow. That's gonna be day three. Luckily for you, you don't have to wait that long. Anyways, without further ado, let's get going with the abstract stars here. And uh, once again, thank you for tuning in to the Complicated Art Man channel. There's the camera over there. All right, guys, here's a little frescoes tip for you. If you don't like the value of one of your colors, change it. Don't be lazy. Go over there and change it. I didn't like the way this red was looking. I wanted a little bit more pinkish. So I went and I changed it. Kind of looks like Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> One of the things um, about these types of paintings, big part of the process is the color mixing. So uh, take your time with it. Find, find the colors you want. Don't be lazy. All right, here we go. Let's we'll start off with a script liner brush. And if anything, I might go to something a little bigger, my little round brush. Complicated Art Man channel. I want to give a big fat shout out to the Rondo brothers for use of their track special ed. And here's a little word for you to drop into the comment section. Pepper, Pepper Push Boodle. not really worried about any of the paint drips on the painting. I want there to be a lot of action in this and I want to keep it real and organic, as real and organic as possible. Stuff like that used to give me anxiety, but not anymore. Well, maybe just a little, little bit. Out here. I 
I've got my canvas tape down so that the wind doesn't come and take it. satisfied with the outcome of the pattern the color scheme okay so this is where we are right now at this stage of the process I'm just simply doing up some abstract stars all the different colors working in there the red white and, and blue values trying to create a little depth a little bit of action splattering nothing major just um, little simple references to some action um, going on want to keep it organic not worried about the drips at all cool with that and basically i'm um, just kind of letting the painting right now tell me which direction ahead as far as the color scheme so let's get back left I just threw it in there with the blue make it a little lighter baby baby blue and try to bring that blue over here now. Whoa. I told you it was windy it's okay we're gonna make that work that little drag there isn't gonna matter because once we put the gear on and we start spinning it there's gonna be feet going everywhere that's just gonna be a little little nothing channel the featured tune now playing frenchman street by otis mcdonald all right guys so i've developed my color scheme here basically i just juxtaposed the color from the substrate I wanted more pink over here more blue over there and kind of like a light white light baby bluish here which kind of turns lavender so it's kind of cool I'll probably get this with more pure white just to push it back a little bit and then also guys <clears throat> this isn't just taking the paintbrush and you know swirling it all around there is a technique and basically what you kind of want to do is um, very lightly dragging the brush and as I'm getting around the turns I'm also twisting the brush a little bit to let some of that paint get out of there and 
and get on the canvas. So that's that's the real trick is trying to do it all in one fluid motion. It's going to be something like something like so. Twisting it as you go. All right, guys, so I'm pretty much done for stage two process of this project, this STARS project. I pushed these middle STARS back a little bit. I wanted to be a little more subliminal in the middle. I'll probably hit them with a little bit more white and push them back even, even further. Today, feel good. Tomorrow is gonna be the big day we're gonna do so that's it from windy central florida it's complicated art man day two and i'm out hey guys welcome back to the complicated art man channel i am the complicated art man all right got the table all set up got my spinny spinny thing there ready to rock and roll we're gonna start with blue always remember keep the paint sticks pointing away from you when you have it on your table, I'll sit up so you don't get into silly time. This is gonna be a little nerve wracking. Obviously we're going live here and here we go. Okay, that's good. wipe the disc off after each time that I'm doing it, but I'm gonna let the colors do their their natural like color mixing thing here. That's a different blue. Kind of feel like I'm at the blue man group. Boom, 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 boom. Gotta be careful uh, when I lift this off that I don't drag it or anything because that's gonna mess up the natural um, organic color flow that's going on here. Just gonna kinda, I don't wanna touch any of the paint splatters. Okay, it's good. All right, so looks pretty good, kinda like it. I can still come back and touch over the stars if I want to. I didn't get it all over the canvas. I got it just pretty much concentrated from the center and out like a burst. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna put it in the garage and let it dry and do its thing and then that's it. So uh, have the final pictures manana and for now it's Complicated Art Man and I'm out. See ya. finished the project I dropped resin onto the centrifuge and let the centrifugal force do its thing. Thanks for tuning in to the Complicated Art Man channel. Don't forget to peep my blog at complicatedartman.com slash blog. Pepper Pushpoodle.